Hey everybody, how are you? It has been a hot minute since I got to do a floss tube video, but I am at the point where I'm forgetting what I've talked about last, so I figure I better show you. I'm also going to pre-warn you, we are on vacation and just above me is the game room and they've got a pool table and all kinds of games up there. So if you hear people, that's just how it is. So I hope everybody is doing good. I have been so busy with life that my stitching has had to kind of take a back seat, but it is what it is, right? I have been stitching some, just definitely not on the 16 projects at a time like what I did, like what I did before. So I am, I've got two weeks left of the classes that I'm taking now in school, and then I have got a t almost a two-week break until I start my very final last two classes. Yes, until I graduate. So I'm ready. I'm ready to have this degree and be done so that I don't have to spend so much time studying and I can spend that time cross-stitching. So there you go. All right, not gonna lie, I have probably got more haul than I've got stitching done. <laughs> And I know I said that I wasn't going to buy charts, but I lied because <laughs> I have bought charts. So I'm going to show you what little bit of stitching I've got done. Okay, first thing is I had bought the three um, stamp series the, by Primrose Cottage Stitches. One of them is Be Mine. I did not get that one stitched. I don't know. I may stitch it. I may save it for next year. The February 14th one. Didn't get it stitched. But I did get Sweetheart stitched. So, there is my finish on it. And I know it's backwards for you. But I didn't stitch it backwards. So, And I had posted... I know you, you may have seen these videos and think, like, what in the world is up? But I posted videos so that I could put it on my website for how to order and I didn't get a chance to explain it. So these are my mini cross stitch bags that I have made for myself. But what happened is I had enough fabric to make more than just the one. And I was like, I really can't use that fabric to do anything else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make project bags for other people and put them on my website. So that's what I did. But I love this size project bag. I'm in love and I'm gonna start making project bags a bunch of them to hold small projects because what happened is <clears throat> this size of a project bag is too big to go in my pocketbook so putting them side by side for comparison see how much smaller this will go in my pocketbook here's my pocketbook this will go down in my pocketbook see I mean it's it's in there I could put several of them but the thing about it is is with my schedule being like it is and running all over the place i'm finding more opportunities when i'm out and about and sit waiting the other day i got to stitch in the doctor's office because i had a project with me so these type projects are perfect to go in here and i can have something with me to stitch on so you know what i probably will go ahead and stitch those other ones just because I mean, it fits in here. It fits in here so good, and it's a good size for me to stitch on in public. It goes in my pocketbook. So, that's why I put that random video up. I'm not trying to sell stuff to y'all all the time, but I'm a full-time artist. That is how I make an income. So, if I make something for me and I love it, I'm going to make extras for other people. So, if you're offended by that, I'm sorry, but it's going to be here because that's what I do. So, I got that one. That was a new start and a new finish. I have done a little bit on Hot Cocoa Bar. Um, that was number five on my Whipgo board for this month. And number 14, I think is the number. It may be 17. I don't know. Is to finish this one. So, I've still got to get that done because that's one of my Whipgo goals. So, I got to get that one finished. But I have worked some on it a little bit. Um... So that's that one. I have, I just did yesterday my very first virtual stitch along. 
on Fancy Folk, and it is sponsored by Stitching in the Land of Good Enough, and I stitched on her some yesterday, so sorry you can see it, but I did holly over here and started in on the white, and I didn't get to stitch very long because being on vacation, I don't have a place set up where I usually stitch, and it was really hard for me to try to find a place that I had enough lighting, I had enough plug-ins, I had a place to set my laptop and my light and my magnifier, so I didn't get much done. But it was good to jump in and see what it was all about. So next month, being at home, I will definitely better be better prepared for it. So, my temperature tree, I am behind on. I have got almost all of January's done um, I need to go ahead and get February, just get it done. This one is not a hard one. It's just a lot of change for the different leaf color or whatever. But I'm going to work on this one today and tomorrow going home and try and get it updated. Because I do enjoy stitching on this one. Um, and I love seeing the difference in the colors. Sorry, heard a horn. Um, it's pretty cool to look back and see the temperatures. So, I've stitched on that one. And that's pretty much been all of my stitching. I told you I've not got a lot done. Um, yeah, that's it. So, now haul time. I got my new Just Cross Stitch magazine in the mail. And I'm in love with some of the different projects in here. I am about ready to switch out the projects that I'm working on and rotate them because I get tired of working on them. I get bored. So, my winter stuff, I'm ready to go away. But isn't that one cute? It's so cute. It says, In the shadow of, the wing of thy wings, I sing for joy. So, I like that one. I like this one. Let me see. This one is Hello Spring. I actually bought some fabric to do this one. All of that light yellow is stitched on here, and I'm not stitching that. So, I got light yellow so I can get out of stitching all of that. That one's cute. I want to do that one. And then, this one is super cute. Happy Easter. So, that's the one I want to do. So, I'll probably start work, working on those. Yeah. Add more to the rotation list of things that I'm not currently getting done. I do have planned, however, to really, after school's done, I'm probably spending 20 to 25 hours, maybe to 30 hours some weeks on school studies. Because it's not just reading and doing the quiz. There is a lot of deliverables for graphic design. So, I'm actually doing a lot of projects. And so, that takes a lot of time on top of the reading and the videos and all that stuff. So, then I went to a thrift store one day. And I found this cute coaster. And it was a dollar. Can you see? Sorry for the glare. It's a cute little birdhouse. And it's got the little coaster with it. And then I got... Um some Charles Craft 22 count fabric for a dollar and then I got this two by two it's to do a Afghan Noah's Ark Afghan and it wasn't but two dollars look at it so I have got to find this Afghan that it talks about it says I think the ABC There's some kind of Charles Craft blanket. The Alphabet Afghan. That's what it is. So, I have got to find that. Yeah, Ikru Alphabet Afghan by Charles Craft. That's it. This would just be a fun one to do for when I get grandkids. No, there's nothing going on. But probably in another 10 or 15 years, I'd have it finished. And I think that'd be cool to to be working on something and praying for my future grandbabies. Okay. The next thing is I got my Fortnite Fabrics Fabric of the Month. 
it was it took for a while to get to me but they apologized and said that um they were had some growing pains so they had some things they had to work out to me it looks a little greenish i think to other people it may look grayish i don't know but i think it looks a little bit green it's a really pretty um, molding, though. It's not that blue color that it's showing. I don't know why it's showing a blue color. But it's like a greenish, grayish color. It's really pretty. It's called Sea of Fog. So, I got the 28 count even weave. So, excited about that one. Then, I just went in a thrift store and found all of this Ada cloth for 50 cents each. So I got red, white, an off-white, and these are like 12 by 18 size pieces. Green, brown, another green, another green, and I don't know what this is. Let's look. But like, I mean, it's still sealed in the original packaging. And I thought, for 50 cents, you can't beat that. This says, Yorktown mat, 14 count, and it's an eight inch circle. Oh, snap. Look, that would make a cool pillow. I didn't know. I seen eight o'clock for 50 cent a piece and I grabbed it. So, that, and then I went to the cross stitch store um, in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, which is where we are at the time of this recording. They have got a store called Dixie Darwin. And I went in, and holy cow, y'all. Cross-stitch stuff ain't cheap. Okay, so here's how this story went. I was debating on going or not because we brought limited finances with us to follow the budget. So I was like, well, I'll go, and I'll just get a little tiny piece, you know, like this. So I didn't, and I waited, and I waited. Well, we got up this morning, my husband's paycheck was deposited early. <laughs> so needless, I had to go. And my husband said, I'm going with you to supervise. So, I did my best to cover up the cash register. But he did go to the cross-stitch store with me. And my son. And that was an experience. Now, my son, he went over and found some full coverage pieces that he wants for me to do. Going to take forever. But I'll have to get them for him. He's really, really wanting one that had some deer on it. So... Yeah, but trying to keep them calm and quiet in a cross-stitch store. I'm like, we come in here to get away from y'all and to de-stress. Please be quiet. And it just, it, my, my middle, it was like, we're not in the library. Anyway, I got some new needles. I needed some new needles. I got Lizzie Kate Basket, and it's got an Easter bunny. And it says Basket. I got this Lizzie Kate. I have seen somebody else doing it. And it says, do small things with great love. I don't remember who it was. I'll have to go back because a lot of these that I see that I want to do, I screenshot and keep in an album on my phone. So I will tag you if I find out who it was that I seen doing it. But I thought that one was so cute. Then I got fabric. I got this. I really didn't want to do Ada for that spring piece in the magazine that I showed you. What page was it on? 26. Yeah, this one. So see, I told you that I was getting a light yellow fabric. This was the only light yellow anything they had in the store. So I got it, the only thing that was big enough. So I'm going to use this fabric to do this piece so I don't have to back stitch all or the stitch in all that yellow. So, yeah, that's what I got that for. I got this ice blue color for some reason. The bunny, that's what it was, the bunny. Um, page 38. So this little guy, I'm going to do him on this light blue color. I thought that would be cute. It's a 32 count linen. 
And then I got, I got the Spring Cricut Collection and the Summer Cricut Collection. And the fabric to do both of them. So for the Spring, I did not like that yellowy green color. So I got this pinky color. It's really pretty. Let me see if I can get it to show for you guys. Probably not going to without the glare. It's a 28 count. Take it out so you can see. It's really pretty. It's picture this plus. Can you see? Really pretty. It's got a pinkish yellowish tone to it. I think it will be beautiful. So I got that. Yeah, picture this plus linen. And then I got this purpley color to do the summer. So they kind of match the pink and the purple. You can see that purple better through here. The pink and the purple are gonna look really cute together. So now I have got autumn, winter, spring, and summer. And I will start the spring on its perspective day and the summer on its perspective day. So I need to put in some more time on the winter one before it goes away. Okay. So that's my fabric. And then there is a piece that I seen. I started last April cross stitching. And when I come on vacation in April last year is when I started cross stitching. So when I went into the cross stitch store, they had this ginormous piece. Let's see if I can get it to not glare. It says, loved you yesterday, love you still, always have, always will. And this thing is massive. It is a 21 and a quarter wide by 17 and 7 8 inch wide on a 28 count. So it is huge. Um... It calls for dinky dyes threads. I have no idea where to get dinky dyes. And then several mill heel, mill heel beads. But it is beautiful. It's got some beautiful greens and stuff. So I seen it and thought about my parents because their wedding anniversary. They've been married. How many years? Hang on. They got married in 80. So 40, 42 years this year. So that's what I thought about. I don't know, we'll see. But I would also love to stitch this and have it above my bed. To remind myself of them times that I'd like to kill my husband that I do love him. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I've got. And I wanted to go ahead and do this because I'm going to be going to another cross stitch store with my aunt, hopefully on Monday. And I wanted to keep separate what I had from where so that when I show you, I can remember. So there you go. And that's about all I got in the cross stitching world. I'm behind on watching floss tubes. So I got a bunch to catch up on. Just have it at time. I wish there was more time in the day. I have even been using a time management tracker for me to keep track of my time and like making sure that I'm getting the best use of my time. But it's like, there's been some da some days that I have went nonstop for over 11 hours between trying to work and trying to do study and trying to do housework. And it's like, I stop my time for the day and look up and it's, I've basically worked almost a 12 hour day without sitting still. So yeah. And in the realm of personal stuff, other than school and vacation, not much else going on. I have got, see that? I've got a continuous glucose monitor on because I have been having headaches and like dizzy spells. And every time I go to the doctor, they're just like, oh, you're just stressed because they'll take my blood sugar then and it's fine. My A1C is good. And I don't know what else to check. 
so I paid a hefty dollar to put this thing on, but I have figured out there's been some times in the night my blood sugar is getting down in the 40s. So I'm having to eat more often than I have ever ate to keep my blood sugar up. But I feel better. I'm not irritable. I'm not shaky. But I never would have known that it was my blood sugar was getting too low had I not got this thing on. But I love it because it don't hurt. I don't even know it's there. I just have to remember to sink it. And all I do is hold my phone over it. And it sinks it with everything. It is so cool. But it seems to be like that's helping. It's helping my blurry vision. My dizziness. Me being irritable. Wanting to feel like I need to take naps a lot. So that's about all. And other than that, the boys are doing good. Um, my oldest driving is going well. <laughs> we were coming up to Tennessee and he's never drove on an interstate. And we got into some construction on the interstate where you've got those concrete barriers on either side. And he gets nervous going by transfer trucks. And so <laughs> He was really nervous because there was concrete on either side and the 18-wheeler. And some of the construction that we got in, there was a lot of lane shifting, you know, and running over new pavement versus the old pavement, and he was feeling the car jerk and stuff. So that was an experience. Bless his heart. After we, he drove about an hour and something. He's like, Mama, I got to get, we got to pull over. I got to get out of the car because he's got anxiety anyway. So he got out for a little bit and he's like, he was just wore out. And he was like, mama, I am so sorry that when we have went places and I didn't understand why when we got there, y'all didn't want to do nothing that day. And he's like, I totally get it. But he got in the back seat of the car and my husband drove and we didn't get 10 or 15 minutes down the road. And he's like, mama, you're going to have to find somewhere. My stomach is so messed up. I got to go to the bathroom. So bless his heart his nerves was shot and then the reason they get nervous in vehicles so much is we had a car crash maybe two or three years ago a woman in a hummer pulled out in front of us and we were doing 35 and we t-boned her doing 35 and it was a pretty hard impact and since then my middle one has got bad anxiety about other people pulling out in front of us so I think some of that makes it a little bit harder because when the oldest is driving, the middle one's nervous about it. He's already got anxiety when we travel. So it was an experience, but we've had a good time. The boys have had a good time and it has been different though, because like, you know, new things happen that you didn't think about before. You used to, we'd get, we'd get in the hot tub and not think about it. And if somebody's got high blood pressure or they're on high blood pressure medicine or they've had a heart attack or heart disease, they have to be careful about getting in the hot tub. Who knew? But 37, <laughs> my husband's 47 and we're having to think about stuff like that. So we've had to really, you, we used to get in a hot tub about 100 degrees, but we've got it set now. I think it's on 94 or 95. And then my husband has to not get in so far and we only can stay in for like 10 minutes and you know it's just you just have to get used to the world around you so and then we did we've been coming to pigeon forge for three or four years but our first time here was during the pandemic and so every time we've been we've not been out and about so the boys have been wanting to drive go-karts and we found some that were outside and we thought, well, we'll go because it's kind of cool out. And there's not nobody out. So we went out this morning and did go-karts and stuff. The boys had a blast. And we're supposed to be going back in a little bit. But So it's been good to get out a little bit that we don't normally do. So, But other than that, nothing, nothing exciting. We do have a creek right outside our cabin. And then we've got a trash can out on the porch and... I come out this morning and the trash can lid was dumped off and some critter has been eaten and we got to looking on the porch and the raccoon had come up the side of the porch and walked around all over there's raccoon tracks all over the porch so yeah that's about it that's about all the excitement going on so 
nothing else new other than the fact my studio is being moved again we put um, two buildings together so I have got a huge studio outside instead of in the basement I have got um, what's it called claustrophobic and I didn't have windows downstairs so I didn't want to be downstairs so my new studio is outside and I have a bunch of windows and so I have been sewing a lot um, that's been fun just not cross stitching much but I've been doing things that I needed like those project bags and stuff so fixed some clothes sewed on some clothes been sewing a pocketbook that's about it and then we st we had two big old trees cut down in the yard one of them was kind of over the pool and it made a mess in the pool and then the other one was just too big and it was too close to the house so but that's it that's all that's going on in our world other than the normal every day of getting up and eating and doing school and schooling the boys and working and that's it what you been up to so I'm going to go and start watching some floss tubes and go sit I think on the porch swing for a little bit and cross stitch and get school assignments done and all that good stuff so I hope all of you are doing well thank you for coming back and joining me again and being my little cross stitch friends and if you're new here welcome I hope you'll stick around and comment subscribe and all that good stuff well I'm gonna get off here cuz I'm just rambling I have nothing else to say so I will see you all later until next video take care bye